to apologize for this video. When I was shooting for it, the case for my old GoPro broke, so there was no good way for me to mount it to a tripod or any other device that I need to have to carry around with me. So I ended up using a GoPro that Wendy had, and that camera had kind of a tricky mic, so all the sequences that I shot with me speaking came out with no audio. For this video, I'm just going to have to reshoot what I can, or voice over certain areas that uh, I was showing something that I wanted to show you. It must be still a little early for the chickens. Does anybody want to come out? You just hanging out in there? Okay. They'll come out when they're ready. As I shoot this video, we are getting into fall weather. But it still feels like summer. Today and tomorrow we're going to get up around 90. There are mornings that are cool enough for me to wear a jacket out here. But today's not one of them. I wanted to do a quick update on the tree that was hit by lightning. The audio stopped working here. I was pointing out that the lower limb on this tree was really shocked by the lightning and it's turning brown compared to the rest of the green in the tree. I'm not sure it's going to survive. Let's take a closer look. There's a lot of wood and bark missing around this branch, but we still have some around this backside. I wanted to wait until next spring before I decide to actually remove this branch just so I can see if anything grows back. Still a lot of apples on this tree. Our harvest this first year has just been amazing. Look at how many apples I already have in the fridge here. Just about slam full. A few days ago, I started taking apples to our neighbors. It's a great way for me to introduce myself to the neighbors that I didn't know yet and just a friendly way for us to get to know each other. My experience here in the Midwest has been that folks are friendly, but won't come over and talk your ear off for no reason either. I'd say people are, I'd say people respect your privacy, but tend to err on the side of minding their own business. The rest of this video is a continuation of my last video, Field Trip, and that video was a continuation of a video called Pasture Not Prairie. I'm brush hogging our fields. Maybe I should just start a playlist called Pasture.
I wasn't going to make you watch me stack branches all day. Of course, this pile got bigger, and it's just one of many stacks around here. I moved the sticks from tall grass, where I might have run them over with the tractor. If I leave them here, they're just going to grow into the grass again and be another, another hazard. So my plan is to lop them into skinny, straight pieces and consolidate them along with the other piles somewhere out here. In this part of the video I was showing what I thought was a very large branch hidden in the tall grass that turned out to be a living tree root that was so far above ground that it was really a hazard that I had to be aware of. I also pointed out that right under these trees here would be the perfect spot to consolidate those branches that I was talking about earlier. It's a spot that I don't have to brush hog and it's shady enough that not a lot of grass grows there anyway. This old busted round bale feeder had been out in the pasture. I didn't want to run it over with a brush hog, so I rolled the individual pieces back here where they'd just be kind of out of the way. In this part of the video, I pointed out a small tree stump that I wanted to avoid with the tractor. And kind of a large log that I wanted to drag out of the way. That log was pretty soft with rot, but I still wanted to get rid of it anyways. I broke up pieces of that rotted log to use on either side of that tree root, so now it's more of a gentle speed bump. I'm not done yet. But this pile of branches is definitely getting bigger. Here I was saying that it had been a very long day and that maybe I bit off more than I could chew. This area back here, around my Moon Base 1 composting station, isn't very large. But you can't really see it well from just one angle. 
Now that's a jury rig, just taped to a ladder. It'll be fun to have multiple points of view for this sequence. some tractor problems. This link had shaken loose. It took a while to figure it out, but I think we're back in business. area done today. But the brush hog quit working again, and this time there's no quick and easy reason for it that I can see. So I think I'm going to call it a day. This might be the end of the video too. The brush hog on my tractor ended up working again. I had already put my cameras away so I didn't get anything on camera. I don't know what was wrong with it. Maybe it just overheated, or maybe I'm developing some sort of an intermittent switch problem on the tractor to activate the brush hog. I went ahead and finished that last little bit of the field before putting my tractor away. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.